For some scenarios, you're going to want to create a silent installer. For example, if you're a network administrator and you're deploying patches on your network to employees and so forth, um, there's a lot of scenarios where you're going to want to do that. So let's take a look at that now. If you go into your project menu, under the advanced settings tab, you'll be served with this dialog. As you can see here, there's options here for your silent unattended install. So you can actually click that and for example, set it to start in silent mode, etc. Here we've got your default user profile for shortcuts. So it could be the current user only or all users. And that's when it goes through the installation process where uh, it asks them if they would like a, a shortcut for the current user or all users, it defaults to whatever you select here. And here we've got options for using a custom icon for your application, which is you know, that's beautiful. If you're branding your stuff or if you're deploying the stuff with a visual theme, that's just absolutely excellent. And again, here you can hide the taskbar icon and you can set your installer to be always on top. So those are some different options that you can do in the project settings advanced tab. But specifically this silent installation, let's take a quick look at how that works. We'll go ahead and build this and then we'll audition it. Here's our setup and it's done. That was it it actually installed. If we go to our programs menu, you can see it's here. If I uninstall it and go ahead and do that again, or we'll go to the programs menu, you can see it's not present. We'll go ahead and click on that setup again and as you can see it's done. It's there in the programs menu. So it's that quick and it's that silent and that's a very handy way to deploy um, certain unattended installations um, and installers, uh, for example, for your networks and for your employees and for your infrastructure, where you don't want the person on the end to uh, have options to uh, to either you know uh, steer or otherwise uh, customize where the installed files go and so on and so forth. This is a really good way to ensure that when you deploy something, uh, for example, a B2B application to one of your suppliers, that it gets uh, deployed properly and executed properly and that somebody isn't accidentally making a decision that affects the uh, functionality of your application once it's installed.